Hey guys, this is Will from Monkey Steals Peach here and right now I've just flown four hours all the way across Australia to the capital Canberra. So I'm going to be spending a few days here uh, catching up with a few martial arts friends. We're going to do some interviews, going to do some training together and I'll show you guys over the next few videos. So this trip was actually supposed to be a two-part trip and um, I was going to spend quite a bit of time in Sydney. I had a whole bunch of stuff planned out there. Um, there was a whole bunch of guys I was going to meet up with. We were going to have a few exchanges, various styles. But literally, like, the evening before I was due to fly out, Sydney got um, designated a COVID hotspot and most of the other states close their borders to New South Wales so had I have still gone to Sydney I would have got stuck I wouldn't have been able to get out so yeah I had to cancel that and unfortunately like a lot of cool stuff that I was going to film there but fortunately I'm still here in Canberra um, so I've got um, a couple of interviews lined up just meeting a few guys that I know here and I'm staying at the home of an old friend of mine Brendan Tunks. Hello Will. <laughs> Hello Brendan, nice to meet you. Thanks. Thanks. Fellow Mantis boxing practitioner. And he secretly combined drunk boxing with the Mantis style to create the most lethal of fighting forms. The deadly dance of the drunk Mantis. Um, in case you don't know who Brendan is, I think most of you probably should, but if you don't, he's a very long time practitioner of Mantis. He's been doing it since the early 90s. Um, he, he lived out in China for quite a long time in Qingdao. Um, he's been yeah going backwards and forwards uh, to China since then. Um, he's practicing seven star Mantis or Qi Xing Talang which is kind of different to what I do so yeah we've been hanging out um, training and he's agreed to um, share a bit of his understanding of, of Mantis. Not specifically just seven star, but because he's also trained like some Hao family and Taiji Mantis and things, so he's going to share his own understanding of the system. And then after that, uh, we're going to go off and um, meet some other people over the next few days. Well, you know, when talking about seven star Mantis, I can only talk my. No, I won't talk about lineages, for example, but what I say I think is like bread and butter for seven star is not necessarily what other people will say. Mm. But um, I'm more concerned with techniques that are like the bread and butter of man's boxing as yeah. a whole. So seven star have them too. So, so it's probably going to be the same as what I'm doing. Anyway. Possibly, but it might be different the way I do it, like mechanics might be different. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, but I think they're all just different ways to get to the same uh, goal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, when you talk about man's boxing, you're more talking about um, it's it's too it's too stereotypical to say short range versus long range yeah. or that oh you know Mei Huan that is Taiji is in here and it's Duan yeah. yeah. it's yeah. bullshit because it's Duan in Shiji as well so yeah. it's long yeah. range and short range but it does have a long fist base mm. so it's all overlapped I mean yeah. I think all the old trample all the old manuscripts are from the same sources anyway yeah and then you've got your sort of technical specialties from each each division or, or whatever mm. but I, I, per, I personally don't believe that. Um, in application, mm -hmm. there's any difference. Uh, some might favour one, others might favour others, but um, to me it's more about which particular masters you learn it from, yeah. or what regions they come from, it's the things that they, they uh, it's more like personal flavour. Specialised, yeah, and so like, alright, so like, I, I did take some of the things my teacher um, favours, and his body type was actually different to mine, mm -hmm. but I did take them because they were his flavour things, and I do pass them on, just yeah. like he did from his teacher, but in fact my teacher was more close to your height, and yeah. a lot of his stuff is like you were saying before, is all this it's stuff all coming, coming up, in and up, up with yeah. the head, and hooks, and everything coming inside yeah. and up, yeah. and lifting, and with him everything that's happened here, every time there's always something there, yeah. you know, so, yeah. and people wouldn't see that and say, that's seven star. Mm. People think seven star is going to be like all these like, long things or yeah, yeah. long chopped and you know, oh there is a lot of that sort of Tong B type yeah. long range flavour but I think you see more of that in uh, Yentai I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I, I like myself to, to start out 
here and I yeah. like that range that people yeah. call kickboxing yeah which I don't agree is kickboxing mm. it's just punching and kicking so you can say uh, seven stars got a long fist base right? right and it does and that's one thing that does make it a bit different mm. and long fist is not necessarily just kicking and punching yeah but um, there is that like kicking and punching mm. style mm. of but all the man's boxing has it but yeah. I mean, the idea is then to get in here. Yeah. And then when you get in here, you do the things which are more your sort of like yeah. bread and butter. Yeah, you're more typical. But so, so I, I don't, some people de-emphasize that kind of range, yeah. you know, and sort yeah. of boxing. I don't de-emphasize that because you have to get there first. Yeah. So for me, um, unless it's a self-defense situation mm. or it's an assault situation yeah. where I know I'm going to smash you and you're standing there and I've come to bash you, then I can do my like in, in straight away, like this kind of yeah. bullshit. But when they're standing here and we both know we're going to fight and we're hands yeah, are up, then you're gonna... it's different. Yeah. I'm not going to get to do any of those things. So mm. then I need to have that kickboxing range, punching and kicking. Yeah. And so people see a lot of our stuff from my school and think, oh, that looks like kickboxing. Whatever you want to call it, it's punching and kicking. Yeah. But that's for me, is like, I might start, I might start out here, yeah. I might do some things here, yeah. whatever, but the aim is to get onto something. Yeah. So you, you're just using these sort of techniques to try and latch on. Well, like, like you like, like to do, you like to do these provoking yeah. things, you know? Yeah. I, I don't mind that either, but that's not even to this. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I, of course, if you can, getting getting outside is like the key to all of the mm. men's specialty. Yeah. So basically, this position here, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. 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 That's it. I think that's as well what we were saying before, asking me as well. Yeah, trying to get into this position with that nice hip to hip contact. Is, yeah. And you don't have to always go for the no, classic no, thing here, to. but you know, there's uppercuts, there's down, there's in, mm. there's push, there's, you know. I mean, if you've already gotten to there with somebody, mm. that's not a good position. Mm. Whatever, even just to be that. Yeah. But no one's going to stand still and let you do that. Yeah. So you're rushing into me there, I'm going to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Or, or you are going to come there. We're both going to go down, so it's yeah. um it's ideal, but it's not always. People practice too much, like um, drilling entries to those beautiful spots. Yeah, I mean I'm guilty of it too. We do it as well, mm. but they don't often come up yeah. in the fight. Yeah, they come up in self defense situations yeah. more regularly. Or if you're going to assault someone else, if yeah. you're standing there and the person's a complete idiot, it's pretty easy to just take the foot. Yeah, without even you know without yeah. even having to do something here. Yeah, so, that's um but then it depends yeah it depends what the context of the fight is yeah that's because right. you know i think old chinese martial arts are not necessarily not so much square enough well you got the the lay tai well, stuff, we were but... saying today and is that you got yeah that's right you have lay tai type stuff where yeah. i know you you know me i'm gonna fight you this day we're coming on this time we are squaring off yeah and that's a duel yeah and that's different to um I'm here, you come up and can hear me from the side, or yeah. or I hear you're in my town and you're coming to kill me, Yeah. and I'm having a bow first, or chain whip and spear, I'll yeah. be waiting in the door, like it's a, yeah. the, the, the man spot in there is where you drop your spear, Yeah. Drop you, we, have, we start hacking each other and then you, you take my sword, mm -hmm. then we're ending up here, then we've got to do all this shit, you yeah. know, like, you know, that's, that's yeah. what, that's different context that you write, mm. but um, yeah, so long range parrying, uh, chopping to enter, same as you guys, like attacking the arms, using, yeah. you, you know, like for me, I, I always like to hit, hit yeah. arms and use like that, not only to knock it down, but to use it as a, yeah. like a trampoline, like, do, do. yeah, yeah, I got that, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. doing things like coming up, like using that, you know, we're talking about like putting the pressure, yeah, and then using that pressure yeah. to switch, I mean, it's the same as your, your style.